Hello everyone and welcome to my page messages from Venus. <laughs> um, this is the My Heart uh, Love and Relationships Tower and Oracle reading. If you're watching this, it's because it's a YouTube reading. Um, the names of the cards are going to be listed below. This is a private reading. Um, the names and questions were regarding this reading, everything is confidential. Um, the names of the decks are, this is the Alternate Realities and Norman cards. Um, this is the Bohemian Gothic tarot deck. Hopefully it's not so dark for this reading. And this is the Angel Love um, Oracle cards. I will put the names and authors of each of these decks listed below. I mean, I will list them below. So, <clears throat> first of all, for the person this reading is for, I am so, so sorry for the delay. Because I'm supposed to be getting my videos out every um, uh, 48 hours. So 48 hours of the time of your purchase, you're supposed to be getting your, your readings. Um, but the holidays have literally kicked my behind. I thought I had uploaded this reading, which I have previously recorded already, with these exact same cards. But I feel like it's not even on my phone, to be honest. Um I just feel like that wasn't the message, so I'm going to do the reading again from scratch. And I'll let you know if the, the same cards came out or not. Um, so let's just get started. I'm going to start shuffling. And again, my apologies for the delay on these readings, especially for those of you who have other readings um, that you've purchased from me. So let's just get started here. And if you guys hear the phone ring, I'm at work doing readings for the day so These cards are all over the place, so I feel like there uh, might be confusion in the relationship. So let's see. And I will only use the Lenormand if I need a little bit more clarification. So yes, you guys hear the phone ring? That's my job, my job's um, phone. <laughs> so let's see. So I have here as the situation, um, there are mutual, mutual feelings because I have sweetness as the overall oracle with the two tarot decks for the position of um, where is the relationship at this very moment in time or what is happening within the relationships. Um, so I see that there is mutual uh, feelings within you and this person. Um, I don't feel like you guys are in a serious, serious relationship. But I do feel like there is mutual feelings there. Now you have the Page of Cups and the Three of Cups as to what is going on right now next to sweetness. And what I feel that is happening is that this you might have heard that this person has either a family of their own um, or that is not serious in the relationship or that has other people around him or her with the energy of the three of cups um so usually the energy of the three of cups comes off as somebody that's um, either celebrating having a good time but i feel like there's um, just gossip and just new discoveries in the relationship so yes the person this individual has feelings for you this person is has you in their environment but you're i don't feel like you're the only person that they're either talking to or have feelings for um, where you are at this very moment in time is the Two of Wands and the Devil. 
And so what I'm getting from these two cards together is that you are more attached to him or her or more attached to your partner than what your partner is attached to you. So you have a lot of attachments and that's where you're going. Yeah, I think you're up to the point where you're going a little bit overboard as to like what to do to have this person stay in your life or have this person be in your life no matter what or be in some type of environment with you no matter what. Like that's all you see is the focus within this person. I don't think you see the bigger picture that the Page of Cups had to um, give you. For example, the bigger picture could have been the universe giving you signs that this person is not by his or herself. Or it could have been just a friend showing you either a text message or like some message on Instagram or something on social media that must have shown you or via text message that must have shown you what is actually happening in this person's life then for where this person is at this very moment in time i have the empress and i have the justice card and what these two cards are telling me is that this person is trying to number one is trying to figure out his his or her life but there's somebody Either, it could be either a motherly figure or just another woman. Somebody that's a, a little bit more mature or maybe physically older, like in the numbers older than you guys, um, or his mom. So maybe one of the people that this person is talking to. I mean, it's showing up here as females. Like I have another empress, so I'm assuming you are dating a male. Um, but it's coming off as a male. So the empress card is letting me know that this person is trying to figure out who to stay with, number one, but they're also being manipulated and controlled by someone else. Like someone else is guiding them in their life is what I'm getting with these cards. If this person is not making um, decisions or, or um, fair decisions by his or herself. It's like somebody else has like a blindfold over their eyes and they only see through that person's perception as opposed to their own perception. Then what the obstacle is at this very moment in time, because I always like to give people like where they are in relationships individually and what is actually happening together with this situation. So you have the King of Swords and then you have the Five of Swords. So there's a lot of arguments, yes. There's a lot of disagreements, yes. But this person also has a disgusting attitude. This person, again, shows up as if he, um, your partner is a, a male. So I feel like this person has an attitude. They don't really think before they speak, and whatever they say goes. So they kind of have, like, the last word for it all. They don't really let you manifest, and they want to, like, overbear you or be over you. It's whatever they say or the highway. And because you're so attached to them, as the double card here um, suggests, you kind of just do whatever this person wants you to do. You just go with the flow. You don't really question this person's motives or what's going on in their lives. And as far as the oracle card is concerned, with, with, um, with what is the obstacle in the situation, you have generosity. And I really do feel like you're giving too much of yourself. You're giving too much and not getting anything in return. It's like you want to see this person for who you want to see this person as opposed to for who they really are. Try to see the person for who they really are and do pay attention to the energy of the Page of Cups, uh, which lets me know that there is people that are giving you messages and insights. It might be just your friends just letting you know what is going on uh, in the situation or trying to open your eyes. Um, generosity sometimes it might come off as something positive but i do feel like with the energy of the two of wands and the devil and now this generosity card you're kind of giving too much of yourself and not getting anything in return it's kind of like you just waiting to get this manifestation or waiting for this person to give you what you've asking for which is a stability in a family and they're not budging for the outcome card i have the page of wands and the sun card so what I'm getting with this card is that I feel like this person uh, with the energy of the Page of Wands and the Sun together, I feel like you're going to come up on top. 
no matter what. No matter what happens in the situation, whether you stay with this person or you go. But I really do feel like you're thinking about or pushing more towards, especially after this reading, to move away from this person. And they're going to try to convince you to stay. They're going to try to convince you that whatever's happening to you in your mind or whatever your perception is, is just the mind playing tricks on you, nothing else. You also have change as your overall um, outcome card. So I really do feel like this person is going to regret ever treating you in, in a form where it was just unjust or going off at the mouth. So let me see something here. Okay, so I'm cleared off. Um, of course, I'm getting calls in the middle of the reading. Um, I tried to get a overall clarity over the page of wands and you have the fox then you have the man and then you have the anchor which what this is telling me is that if you decide to stay in this relationship if you that's really what you want and you want to make a change as to your relationship you're going to have to learn to Number one, see this person for who they really are and learn how to deal with this man for who they really are. So that you can have some type of stability because if you continue to hold on to this person for how they see the world and their perception of how they see the world, it's never going to be stable. If you want stability, you're going to have to go get it yourself or just get out of the situation or relationship that you're in. So that is the ending of your reading. If you have any questions, please send me a message. And once again, I'm so very, very sorry for the delay of your reading. Um, blessings and love to you and whoever's watching this video. You can find this video or this type of reading in my Etsy shop. I will be having another sale soon. Um, you guys can stay tuned for that. Blessings and love to everyone.